will order us to play, you have to send it over to me, and then I can play it. And let's check it out. Yeah, I'll definitely awesome. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> so who inspired you to be in this music industry? You know, I think I just kind of was born a singer because I know when I was a little kid, I, I just loved to sing. I was one of those kids that, you know, the parents are recording and, and every chance I got, I'm singing. And my poor little brother, Ryan, I was dragging him into these big productions that I was putting on for my parents every night. My poor parents sat through like 150 productions, I'm telling you. Um, hmm. And my little brother got pulled into it. But that was just kind of who I was. I was I was uh, doing my thing and really loved music. And I think my parents really saw that and they nurtured that. And that's how they got me involved in, in you know, um, you know, vocal lessons and, and getting me involved with the touring crowd, those kinds of things. But I, I think I was kind of a born singer. You know, I, I really have always loved music. Um, listened to it incessantly as a kid. Tons of Crystal Gale. I grew up in Colorado, so Crystal Gale and Reba McIntyre and Simon Garfunkel. Huge fan of, the, of them. And, and so um, I have a little bit of a country background growing up in the country. Um, I love country singers. Um, but yeah, I think that, that's kind of my, you know, I was born a singer, I guess you'd say. Yes, and I do know about Crystal Gale. She's awesome. I loved her hair. Her hair was my favorite. Oh, my God. Right? I'm trying to grow my hair like hers. So I'm halfway down my back. I'm sitting there. <laughs> I, I'm trying to get my hair back down to my middle of my back. It has not been there since high school. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but it will not grow. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, I, I'm just taking tons of vitamins, and that's helping. Maybe I shouldn't start doing a lot of vitamins. Because I'm taking some, some, but not a whole lot. Maybe I should try vitamins. I'll try that That'll out. That would be kind of help. Yeah, yeah. for sure. <laughs> In Spider, you've been kind of quiet. You having qu any questions for her? Um, well, here's a couple good ones. Here's a couple good ones. Um, okay. Now, you talked about how you were kind of, you had a bit of a natural, a natural leaning towards, towards singing. Kind of a natural gift in that area. Um, who are some of your your favorite singers who kind of have that that same kind of background like singers who are just like they've always had that voice who are some of your favorites that might have inspired you a little bit well so michael jackson i think any singer that tells you that they are not a fan of michael jackson is a liar um <laughs> 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 right right um right and then christina aguilera Yes. I mean, man, that, that woman's voice just still gives me... Oh, I know. I love her. She's freaking incredible. Um, who else really inspired me? You know, not so much my background, but like I mentioned, Simon and Garfunkel really inspired me a lot, especially when I was younger. Um, I love how it's uh, kind of poetry. Their music is more poetry to me. And I, and I really like, um, appreciate the way that they write music. Um... So, yeah, like, not really from my background, but I'm a huge fan of Linkin Park. I always have been. I really like those guys. Um, they're phenomenal live. They're better live than, than in the studio. And to me, that's always kind of an indicator. If you're better live than produced, then you're a real band in my eyes. <laughs> you know? so, um, Chester's a really, really well, well ranged singer, too. He recently, of course... Um, toured with uh with stone temple pilots in place of scott wyland prior to well, scott wyland's passing and did a really passable job yeah, he's phenomenal he's an outstanding singer um let's see gosh there's so many bands uh, and so many singers that i really enjoy who have influenced me my music library is really um just insane and it continues to grow i think the more people that i listen to and, and become introduced to and influence me I think the better I become because I kind of open myself to new sounds and in different directions. Lately, I've been really um, involved in kind of uh, the electronic theme that's coming out, mm -hmm. like kind of like the like a new age side of the electronic. So Aisley and um, like that whole crowd. Um, I'm really really digging that music right now. So um, cool. the Offspring, they're pretty amazing. Oh um, yeah, definitely. I grew up on Social D. Um, bouncing soul, swinging utters, a lot of punk rock, a lot of rock. Um, but, you know, I really like everything from Enigma to Metallica. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Enigma, I always grew up on and loved, and he's 
got India and Olive and that whole that whole scene. So yeah, I, I'm in, I'm influenced by so many people. Don't get me started. I will keep you here for like two hours <laughs> just on people who <laughs> on people who <laughs> Those guys are pretty amazing. I animate. Oh yes, like oh yes. I mean, oh. <laughs> so, anyone in the chat room, um, who has any question for Kristen, let us know. If you guys want to call in? I'll give you guys a phone number in the chat room. I know I got a few people who are emailing me. I have a question. Come into the chat room. Where that's where the cookies are. <laughs> and here is a phone number inside here. And here is a phone number, those who are just listening and not in the chat room. Uh, the number is 360-464-4216. Call in and you can ask her anything. <laughs> okay, so we talked about people who inspired you. So is there any musician that you will love to work with? Ooh. Oh my goodness. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, as we've already discussed, Chester, I think he's pretty much at the top of my list. I think that it would be like just phenomenal to work with that guy. I would just die to work with him. Um, like Dan Offspring, pretty much anyone in a whole band, I would be pickled pink. Um, gosh, who have I been listening to lately that I would love to work with? Um, I think that those would probably be my top two right now who I would like to work with. Um, oh, gosh, there's so many I'm thinking of. <laughs> we we, we, we got our stump. So <laughs> yeah. We, we ask the big, tough questions. I know. You guys do. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're professional. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> So, do you have any juicy? Not well, okay. I keep saying juicy, but the to, the question is not juicy. You have any big big um, projects coming up? I do. Uh oh. That is so. I'm in. <laughs> I'm in the studio right now, working with Handsome Rob, Robert Duran, and we're working on a whole new set of music that has a completely different vibe and sound than anything I've put out. So, I have stuff that's electronic that you know that's pushed more over to um, Europe. I work with a, a label out there. And then I have stuff here that's kind of pop rock and then I have some hard rock with so a kind of borderline um, kind of like a, a heavy metal scene. Mm-hmm. But this is kind of more like the Lana Del Rey. Huh. Mm-hmm. So it has, yeah, so it kind of has like a, an electronic with um, like uh, uh, prettier overtones, you know, some kind of feminine vocals on top, which I've been wanting to do. And, uh, my first track that we're working on that we will release, we don't have a release date yet, but we're working on it with Stephen Perkins mm-hmm. from Jane's Addiction. So I'm super excited to be working with him. He already laid the, the drums down on my track. And so um, I'll keep you updated on the release date for that one, but we're really excited about that. And we're working on a couple other tracks right now from some um, well-known DJs, but I'm not going to release those names yet. Nice. That's awesome. Got a tour coming up soon after the new album is out? I'm sorry, one more time. Sorry. You have any big tours coming out after the album is released? Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully I'll be playing out live and getting out there. And, you know, that's that's the goal, definitely. Yes, yes please. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> that would be good. <laughs> that would be very awesome. All right, guys, let's play a little bit of music. This is Christine Faulkner. This song is called Fun. Do you want to tell us a little bit more about this about this song before we go, go in and play it? Sure, yeah. So um, I originally recorded this song with producer Sean Gordon, who's another producer that I work with. Um, and he actually came up with the, uh, the original beat. Um, and it did really well. I have a music video to it. You know, we had a lot of fun on that track. So... Um, then I moved over to the Sound Bakery, and Rob took a listen to it. He loved the track, too. And he was like, you know what? I kind of want to redo it and put some some fresh uh, overtones on it. You know, maybe get get some more live instruments on it. Let's, let's bring it Let's bring it up. Let's, let's make the track a little bit bigger, you know, than what it originally is. And so um, 
then we went ahead and redid the track and re-released it. So the track that you're hearing is the one that Robert and I have kind of revamped with the mm. original producer, Sean Gordon. But there's actually two producers and two separate production companies on this one song. Wow. Okay, guys, here is fun. And why we are listening to fun, think of really tough questions to ask her in the chat room. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> All right, guys, here's fun. talk about the music as one of your sponsorship to help support local independent music and musicians worldwide. We have different levels of sponsorship for everyone, including up and coming bands and musicians to give a little more boost to your promotions. Let's talk about the music is also looking to podcast live from your music related special events, shows and venues. For more information, go to let's talk about the music.com. Hey everyone, want to know how you can help Let's Talk Back About the Music stay on the air and earn some VIP privileges at the same time? Go to patreon.com slash LTATM radio to find out how you can get involved. That's P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com. Let's Talk About the Music. Magical Things offers fantasy art for festival and everyday living. Featuring the fine arts and craft creations of Marjorie Delaney on practical printed products such as journals, mugs, costuming, wearable art, formal wear, and accessories. We also carry a line of magical supplies, including candles, oils, herbs, and limited ritual items. All items are created in a scenic studio space in Culpeper, Virginia, and available throughout the world online, as well as at festivals and events. Magical Things offers custom 